Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2018, looking at some of the new features in version 2018. Now, here in Premiere Elements, there are a number of ways to save a freeze frame from your movie. You can click on this little camera icon and that will save a freeze frame of wherever the playhead is to your hard drive. You can also go to Export and Share. In the upper right hand corner here and under image you have some options for saving a freeze frame also. But a cool new tool is kind of a high level way to save multiple freeze frames from a single clip. I'm going to select this clip on my timeline, go over to the toolbar, click on tools and open up Candid Moments. Now Candid Moments is going to analyze the clip here in a moment. It's going to look for the best pictures. Now ideally it's looking for faces, but it will also make selections based on just sort of lighting, focus, quality still photos that it perceives in this video clip. Now the clip is only about 30 seconds long. It shows, as you can see on the timeline there, a number of different views, but let's see what happens when we click on the auto extract button. It's analyzing the clip. There it is looking at faces. Here it is looking for objects in focus. And there is interesting lighting. And here you can see over in the right hand side it has selected six still photos or freeze frames from the movie. Now we can increase the tolerance by using the slider and it will select more. Go up to eight here or even higher to nine or fewer by moving down this direction but we'll leave it right in the middle for now. You can see the frames that it selected down here on the timeline. They're indicated by this little blue downward arrow. That is an indicator that shows you which freeze frames it selected from the movie. We can remove a selection by hovering over the thumbnail or clicking on the thumbnail until you see a trash can. And if you don't like that image, you just click on a trash can and it's gone. You can also add your own by moving the playhead to a spot where you think there's a good picture, maybe right here, and then simply clicking on the camera icon. Now we've selected yet another, there it is over in the right hand side, yet another still frame. Now once you've made your selections, you have a couple of options. One is you can export to your desktop. This will actually save it to any place on your hard drive when you click on this. It will save each of these little selections as a JPEG. You can export it to your timeline, in which case it will show up as a short slideshow on your timeline in place of this video clip, or I think actually after this video clip. Or you can select Create Slideshow, in which case it will port it over to the Elements Organizer and generate one of its auto slideshows that I demonstrate in a different tutorial here on this website. So let's just select Export to Timeline. And there we can see there's our original clip here on the left, and here are the five still photos or freeze frames it selected from the movie. So as you can see, it's sort of a semi-automatic tool. The program makes its best guess, and then you can refine those selections based on your own personal preferences. Kind of a cool tool, a very unusual tool, and a more high-level way to select freeze frames from your movie. Now, if you want to know more about the tools in this program, be sure to check out all the tips and tutorials on our website. And if you want to know everything about Premiere Elements 2018, you got to check out the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements 2018. It's available at Amazon.com and, of course, right here at the MoviePix store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me.